when one starts paying close attention to sustainability, you find that there are two different streams of thought. The first would be we think that we're going to maybe kill ourselves with poison, and the other is we think that we're going to run out, run out of whatever the fuels are that fuel our society. Um, and there's been a good bit of uh, attention given to the toxicity side. That's the, we think we are going to kill ourselves with poison. But there's not a lot of momentum at the moment uh, around life cycle analysis. That is, trying to answer the question, are we going to run out? And what do we do about that? Here at Interface Floor, we have devised a system that addresses both. And every decision that we make, a decision on a business unit versus a business unit, one year versus another year in the business unit, or a process versus a process, a material versus a material, or a product versus a product. Any of those choices can actually be evaluated through this life cycle footprint mechanism that we've set up. This footprint mechanism basically puts on Mother Nature's glasses and allows us to see our decisions from her perspective. And that gives us a different perspective, not just a cost, return on investment type um, decision making tool, but it also gives us the ability to see things from a sustainability standpoint in the same kind of granular um, mechanism that an ROI system might do as well. For instance, let's consider a material versus a material choice. If I put on Mother Nature's glasses, then I would consider acidification, uh, the production of acid rain, eutrophication are my systems in water staying healthy, fresh water, global warming, human toxicity, marine toxicity, which is saltwater systems, ozone depletion, smog production, terrestrial ecotoxicity, that's is my soil happy, abiotic depletion, am I able to extract sunlight and turn it into energy or embodied energy? How much did Mother Nature pay for this in energy? Those are all the axes that we would evaluate the decisions on with Mother Nature's glasses and we would choose one decision versus another. Nylon 6 in the green footprint and nylon 66 in the blue footprint. You might note that it's fairly well understood that the embodied energy of nylon 6 and the melt temperature of nylon 6 is lower than that of nylon 66. But those guys won't always tell you that the human ecotoxicity is much higher on nylon 6 than it is on nylon 66. Now instead of just truncating nylon 6, from our product mix, what this allows us to do is to go and talk to a supplier and address this particular situation and then change a process to address the human ecotoxicity uh, factor. We've been able to do this with our Nylon 6 supplier and we've actually decreased that human toxicity quotient in Nylon 6 to a point that it's only two times the size of Nylon 6.6.